Hey guys, how goes it? My name is McTilson and welcome back to WWE Supercard. It has been quite a long time. I've been on a bit of a hiatus. I've been finishing up some real life stuff like school and all that, but I've also been preparing for the next tier, which should be coming out very soon. Uh, hopefully the end of the month or the beginning of June. So very excited. This is going to serve as like a kind of catch me up episode, episode zero of the collector series, which is something that I came up with while I was at work. I don't know if anybody else has done it, but I'm sure they have. It's basically just going to be me being a absolute menace to society and trying to collect as many of the uh, next tiered cards as possible. So I'm um, primarily going to focus on all of the like regular singles, so like all of the base live series kind of cards, and then all of the event cards. And if I can do it, all of the PLE cards, the premium live event cards, which you get from the uh, Money in the Bank Supercoin store. So I'm really hoping <laughs> that I can successfully pull this off, but... I'm only going to be steering clear of the uh, SE cards, which are essentially the, like, Judgment Day cards for this tier, uh, because it's, it's kind of impossible to get those cards, like, guaranteed free-to-play. You can't really do anything about that. Uh, I will be using my credits next season to try to get as many of these cards as possible, and I'm not going to be focusing on, like, pulling off the greatest runs and events or anything. I'm not trying to get, like, top 2,000... Uh, event cards and last man standing or anything like that i'm just going to try to get the card <laughs> like i want the catalog as complete as humanly possible to show the world <laughs> that free-to-play players can collect you know it's not just a thing of i'm gonna spend five thousand dollars on this game and you know be happy with my complete catalog so yeah that's what the collector series is going to be aiming at and i'm very very excited for it i have a lot of cards saved up uh, not cards, a lot of super coins saved up for the release of the PLE cards, uh, so I should be able to get both before their uh, time span runs out. Uh, no idea what they're going to be. Uh, it's exciting, though. I'm going to move my face. Wow. All right. It's exciting. No idea. They should be coming out really soon, and uh, we're going we're gonna to keep up with it. So what you can expect from me in the next couple of weeks, like next two months or so during the run of this tier, is a lot of those collector series videos, which are just going to be like, playing a little bit on screen, catching you guys up on my progress, like, I've got this single and this single and this single, this came from Survivor, blah 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 blah, and then I will still be dropping tips and stuff, like, whatever um, I'm using to get all these cards, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I'm doing, and yeah, so the tip videos will definitely still be coming, and you can always leave a comment in one of my videos, any one of them, I see them all, uh, if you want a certain type of video, like, if you're like, I don't know how to farm this, or I don't know if this card is even obtainable, free to play, like, whatever, message me <laughs> in my comments and I will uh, make a video on it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty exciting. And I wanted to just show you guys the last man standing results. Uh, I have a Twitter, uh, I guess I'll link it in the description. It doesn't really matter. But on that Twitter, I tweeted immediately when I saw that AJ Styles was the last man standing card. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to pass it up. It sounds boring. And then I did it. I don't know why. I, I don't know. I was bored, and on the first day I was bored, and I just kind of sat there watching TV absentmindedly grinding it, and then I got to like 800, and obviously I fell down over time because people spend the monies, but uh, I got I got a pretty decent card. It's like 5,000 something, so, you know, not like a 10,000, so that's pretty swaggy, but I wanted to go ahead and claim that on camera because it's fun and move my face again. And yeah, so last man standing results, 5,048. So not my greatest showing. Uh, 371,000 points is nothing to scoff at though. But yeah, this is my only uh, like ranked WrestleMania 39 card. I didn't get uh, Bruno or Roman or Seth. I think those are the three. So eh, I don't know. I didn't really feel it this season. The event cards were a little boring to me. AJ is not my favorite either. You know, he's, he's all right. But I decided to go ahead and do it to make sure like for 100% certain that I will get into the next tier, because I do have, oh, that's pretty cool, 5048, he's a decent looking card, and I'm gonna put a really fun image on him from the olden times, so let me do that real quick, so here he is in all his glory, 40.13, you know, decent stats, I, I finished in a decent place, especially because I wasn't like every minute of every day grinding this, I was just kind of using my own last man standing strategy that I've showed you guys, and I do have some more tips for the next time last man standing comes around, I'll drop a new one, it'll probably be even better than the Sami Zayn one that I did for the Royal Rumble 23 tier, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I had, I didn't get any of these cards, and I kind of wanted one, so I guess I guess that's why I did it. But also because I wanted to throw the black and white on there because it's I don't know, it's kind of fun. And then I will go ahead and train him up, and we'll see what his stats look. 
Beautiful. 160 is what we're going to go ahead and have. Not bad, not bad. And then once we get his matches played and the momentum on, it'll be it'll be good stuff. So that's 100% putting us in the new tier. Uh, we also got the one of the heroics. I think we got the heroic giant unleashed reward for Indy, and then we got the other one from Ring Domination, and we we're able to get a pro with a little heroic boost there as well. So I got some pretty solid cards this season, and this wasn't for me playing all the time. You know, like the first month or so of this season, I didn't even play pretty much at all because I got bored. Uh, when events are kind of lame like that, I uh, <laughs> and I'm sure you guys feel the same way, but. Yeah, this is what it's looking like, and I have uh, ladder rewards saved up for the release of the new tier. Of course, I'll knock out a Survivor Series, get some get some good stuff. I have like 300 tickets that I've saved up, so definitely be on the lookout for the new tier uh, pack opening, the free-to-play pack opening that I do at the beginning of every tier. It's going to be super duper fun, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys like a little catch-me-up, and I guess most of this video was just you looking at my face and me talking at you. But I wanted to give you guys that, like, this is what's going on, and this is what's going to be happening in the future. And, yeah, that's it. This is what we're looking like. It's good stuff. I really hope that we can pull off this Collector Series. I'm going to do my best. We're going to see how it goes. So, thank you for watching. Be on the lookout for the very, very fun stuff that I have coming your way. And that's all for me. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one.